What's up guys? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. I recently attended the 2018 USA Volleyball Adult National Championships last May, which took place in Dallas, Texas, and is also the biggest adult volleyball tournament of the entire year in the USA. This video is a vlog about my personal experience at the national tournament. Our first game was scheduled to be at 8 a.m. on Friday. I'm a public high school teacher, and unfortunately we had our open house event that Thursday until 8 p.m. My flight was supposed to depart at 10.13 p.m. from SFO, and then I would arrive at Dallas at 6.05 a.m., which would give me just enough time to drop off my things at the hotel, eat some breakfast, and play the first game at 8 a.m. Upon arriving at the airport, I learned that my flight was delayed not just once, but four times over the course of two hours. The worst part is that I had three of my teammates' jerseys. On top of all this, I woke up with a pretty bad sore throat that Thursday morning, so I was sneezing and blowing my nose all day. One of my teammates' girlfriends helped me find a direct flight from SFO to Dallas. But of course, the flight gets delayed two times and I don't land in Dallas until 7.15 a.m. Then there's so much traffic in Dallas that it takes over an hour just to travel 20 miles. I don't arrive in the convention center until 8.25 a.m. just in time to give my three teammates their jerseys for the second set. Fortunately, the referees were nice enough to let our team wear white t-shirts with the jersey numbers written on them with Sharpie for the first set. On top of being sick and jet lagged, I had to play without sleeping for 28 hours straight. If you watch the first few games, you'll notice that my reaction time is delayed and overall I'm just not playing very sharp. I know this was a long backstory, but I wanted you guys to know how crazy it was in the very beginning. My parents dropped me off at the airport and my mom packed me some cherries. So shout out to all the Asian moms out there who like to give fruit as gifts and love their kids. So thanks mom. So hopefully I can get some sleep on the flight and get ready to go. Why is it late, dude? Why is it late? Oh, man. Fathers and sons, I think, is because a lot of these guys are playing with their dads, so you see a good mix of young bucks and some uh, refined veterans. A really cool concept of a team. From the Den Boys. Den Boys from Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, DC and Virginia hanging out here at a 2018 Open Nationals. Got to hang out with Coach Donnie at Elevate Yourself. Yes, our hero. Everything uh, I know about volleyball I learned from Coach Johnny. Oh, Too nice. <laughs> Let's see what Clay and Eric are doing. Clay's got some snot. I am operating on 34 hours straight with no sleep. Oh man, I'm wired. On two Snickers and Dayquil. Fortunately, my sore throat isn't feeling as bad, so hopefully that means I'm actually getting better. I'm just gonna sleep a lot tonight. Come back to me. I Come back to you. All right, we gotta do a volleyball introductions. Name, position, and favorite volleyball player. I have a favorite volleyball player. Wait, are you are you filming right now? Oh, hey, my name is Pillow Josh Brina. I'm an outside hitter. Uh, my favorite volleyball player is Lionel Marshall. Oh, Lionel, the classic. 
or or Irving in the bed or Taylor Sanders. Whatever, dude. Uh, John Wall. Defensive specialist. <laughs> outside hitter. Outside hitter for one game so when Donnie was late. I don't know. Sorry. Choose one. Myself. All right. <laughs> so I thought about it. My favorite player, the player who reminds me most of myself, is TJ Dapalco. Oh. I see the similarities. <laughs> Name is Donnie Hui, play outside hitter. And my favorite volleyball player has got to be Kars Karai. And number two is Jiba from Brazil. Clay and Chow, middle, Donnie. <laughs> uh, yes. First, I go. Wait, wait, wait. How's my hair? How's my hair? It looks good. <laughs> Alright, look right, I'm Brant. I'm a libero. Uh, I played at Pepperdine University. My favorite volleyball player would be my dad. He was a setter. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Alright, so I'm Jamie Ferguson, playing right side. And my favorite volleyball player, we're going to go with Wallace D'Souza. Ooh, modern player. I got right. I'm Eric Luong, I play middle blocker, and my favorite volleyball player is Wallace from Brazil. Ooh. Ooh. Snickers on hand in your gym bag. You never know when you need a boost of energy and might even have time to get breakfast. Hey, big shout out to Jamie from your Seattle buddies. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. This is the team, right? Yeah, Seattle guys. These are Jamie's Jamie's teammates. Are these all the teammates here? You guys say hi to Jamie. These are all the Jamie's teammates. Hey. This is our right side. <laughs> we just finished our first day and went 3-0. and And now we are gonna put our stuff back in the hotel and then get to find some good Dallas barbecue. There's our dedicated photographer. Go on camera! <laughs> So it was uh, sunny and humid when we first got here. And now it's pouring rain. You can hear it. Look at that, coming out of the drain of the freeway. Welcome to the Hyatt, Regency in Dallas. Welcome to room 1532. Rooming with John. Pick out the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, the shower's nice. The shower's really nice. Stand in. Marble. Do you guys know uh, Bruce Lee's favorite hotel? What's up? Hi! 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 If you play long day volleyball, you gotta recharge on some calorie, high calorie, high carb, high protein foods. Let's get some gravy. Texas now. All right, Jamie got the Texas bacon melt, patty melt, gravy on top of hash browns. That's just level ten right there. That's why he's wearing sunglasses indoors. Woo, chili. Chili on top of hash browns. Like level, that's level eleven. And I got standard. There's some chili. Double bacon cheeseburger. Juice. Can't go to the Waffle House without getting a waffle. We just ate a fatty meal and it is officially nap time. Was it three o'clock? Four. Four. Yeah, we're gonna take a nap. Oh, almost five actually. Yeah. Oh, fuck this.
I've been going on like 37 hours of no sleep and John flew in like 2 o'clock. Yeah. I'm sleeping in the little Goldilocks bed. We just woke up from a four hour nap and that felt really good. I feel better, even though my voice sounds worse, but I actually feel a little better. So uh, we're gonna go get something to eat, come back and probably watch some uh, game footage and then uh, go back to sleep because our first game is 8 a.m. tomorrow. I'm gonna get some barbecue at the Pecan Lodge now. We gotta eat that Texas barbecue. This is where the magic, oh dang, this is where the magic happens. And how many So Brant, Char, uh, who else was, oh Lewis and me, we share the trough, which is a sampler powder of all the meats they have. There's their pork rib, brisket, pulled pork, and then the beef rib. We got a side of mac and cheese and collard greens, this looks, this looks awesome. End of day one. Watch some volleyball with the crew. Playing video games, of course. Of today's footage. Yeah, I know. I just used the basic. It is the end of day one. I'm really tired. We just finished watching some of our footage from today's performance and we went 3-0. and So we're pretty happy, but uh, tomorrow's gonna be tougher because it's all the top two teams that form a, a new pool tomorrow. So we're gonna try to fight into gold. I think the top two make it into the gold playoffs. So about ready to go to bed. And John's doing his uh, nightly foam rolling. We're all trying to get better for tomorrow. So good night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Captain America's home base. 6.45 a.m. on Saturday, day number two of the tournament. I still feel a little bit sick, as you can hear in my voice, um, but I can't do anything about it, so I'm just here to play volleyball. This is our breakfast menu, the carb station. Steak and eggs need a high calorie meal for tournament days. Morning. It's warm up time. First game of day two. Clay is doing some construction work. Ah! Ah! our Bay Area team playing double A.
found an alien baby. What is that thing? It's an amazing foam roller. I don't even know how we can call it a foam roller. But like targeted pain. Oh. Very good. So these guys got pizza. And I wanted one. Because I'm a ninja turtle. Yeah, this is fresh. Pepperoni pizza. Hi, my name's uh, Kang Bo. I'm from Dallas. I play with my two friends. Let's go. There you go. We yeah. love Coach Donnie. <laughs> Thanks. finish our playing like the and then now we're eating and we're full from barbecue and diner food and we're craving our California cooking. We need bento box rices and salad because oh, yeah, we're Californians. <laughs> this is the recovery zone. Hi, so my name is Curtis Alexander, the owner of TRZ, the recovery zone. Uh, what we have introduced is compression therapy. Uh, we also offer cry cryotherapy. All of these items in themselves, they promote blood flow. So in order for the body to heal naturally without the use of ibuprofen and pain pills, you use blood flow. So that you can come over afterwards, do a 15 minute session of the compression, which is like four hours of rest for that extremity. So you can go out there and continue to compete at a high level, hopefully avoid the injury at the end of the day. Hey, no ibuprofen is cool with me. The compression therapy begins. These leggings are being filled with air and it's like when you get your blood pressure measured. Clay said he has some late night pizza. Where's this pizza? Late night pizza. Got a carb up. It's the morning of day three and we made it into the goal division playoffs which is the top 16 out of 62 teams. Uh, we lost a tough one in three yesterday but hopefully it prepares us mentally today. And a single elimination today. So first game is at eight. If we lose, we're done. If we win, we keep going until I think the max is like four games, four matches to make it to the finals. To try to power up with some French toast, bacon, and omelet. And there's our numbers guy, Jamie Ferguson, our data man. Occupation <laughs> is, is, is a clown. <laughs> Six foot four, and a, you see his knees. He's getting a nice haircut by the ceiling of the car. <laughs> Same with Eric. Eric's his partner, clown. Hey. <laughs> Came here extra early this morning to try to get in the court by 7.15 to get a, a little bit longer warm up because yesterday we had a slow start because we didn't really get to pepper. Got to the court at around 7.40 and then we had to start hitting lines right away. So hopefully it'll make a difference for today's game because it's a really important match next to be able to make it into the top eight. You don't have to bring your own balls. You can check out a ball cart and 
pumped up volleyballs for your warm up. Here's how you know we're in America. For a fun warm up, we bring a football to throw around. I'm sure in other parts of the world, especially Europe and South America, they probably kick a volleyball or kick a soccer ball. Finished our game against Crank Blasters, and unfortunately, we lost in three. So we're tied for ninth. Not as high as last year, but it was a good game. Uh, both teams fought hard, and it's like a chess match. We're making adjustments, and they just made the last adjustment. So they beat us fair and square. There you go. He's gonna tear it up. RBC Bamboo semifinals against Fathers and Sons. So we're just gonna watch some good volleyball and hang out with all the awesome volleyball people. Guys can still bring it. This guy's not a dad, though. Or maybe he. We got Josh's fan. Bet one of my fans today. He's so Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran into somebody who I knew was going to be here, a special guest. Wait, no! <laughs> Wait, alright, you can fix yourself up. Uh, hey, you guys. Uh, great seeing Donnie Lee right here. Mr. <laughs> Elevate Yourself, man. This guy's an even bigger celebrity. No, no, not at all. Great Millions guy right of here. hits. No, it's on just Bollywood. Bollywood. It's only Bollywood. Bollywood.net. The There's best a bigger blog. star over there, Andy Price. Andy Price is good. Uh, this place is very serious about the barbecue. You know, get their secret sauce, and you know, not allowed to use the fork or ass sauce. That's how good it, it's supposed to be. So let's see if it's really that good. You know, set the expectations very high. The unveiling of the spoils of the treasures. The unveiling. Let's turn it this way. It's like getting a, a special secret pack oh from a video game. I still three, think you guys are crazy for ordering three pounds. Three pounds of brisket and three pounds oh of pork ribs. Oh it's our beans for dinner tonight. Oh. Right, you they don't mess board. around in Texas. No. Alright, I met a really cool fan, a bunch of fans from Mexico. We're playing in the open. You want to say something? Me gustaría decir que es un honor conocerlo porque para todos los que somos novatos es un es como un placer seguirlo porque enseña cosas muy buenas y, y a todos nos gusta. All right, good luck. Muchas gracias. It's the end of day three and all the volleyball playing is done. We went to go watch and support some of our other volleyball friends from the Bay Area, like Academy United, the women's open team, the father and son's team that uh, made it to the A finals, and the double A finals, which was just some good volleyball to watch. 
that's one of the best parts about the USA Volleyball Nationals is when you're not playing volleyball, you get to watch some amazing volleyball, hang out and talk with other volleyball junkies. There's actually a party organized by USA Volleyball where they rent out a local club and all the teams get free admission for participating in this tournament. But I'm just way too tired to go out, so I'm probably just going to wind down here in the hotel room by myself and probably watch some more volleyball before I go to sleep. I just finished eating breakfast. It's Monday morning and I'm on my way to go watch Steph Angel play, who is also one of my jump training clients, as well as one of my former players that I coach in high school. So it's really awesome to see uh, the people that I've coached still playing, especially playing at a high level, like the women's open division. So looking forward to supporting her and cheering her on and enjoying this uh, sunny, Dallas, Texas morning. So yeah, those guys who know me, I can't get enough volleyball. It's an addiction for real. I was walking to the convention center doing some vlogging and I met a, a, a new friend here. Steven Shahara. Steven Shahara, also a buddy of Alan Knight, so he's in the in crowd. Yeah. These guys are playing in the 50s, right? Yep. Oh, awesome. My goal is to be like that at his age, so good All luck right. today. Love his channel. Watch him. <laughs> this is awesome. We got a team from Brazil. sitting volleyball team. So I met a, a really cool fan today and someone that gave me a lot of good insight on different levels of volleyball. Hi Coach Johnny, it's Veronica. I'm from London, Ontario. I've really been learning so much from watching your videos and your education. I, I'm on the team uh, Canada Fog 50 Women uh, here at the US Nationals and I happened to bump into you and I wanted to tell you how much I've learned. Uh, the very first thing I want to tell you is I, my vertical has increased at least three inches. Uh, lots of the training, the warm-ups, I've been doing the things that you've been talking about. Uh, the other thing that, uh, just even learning about uh, watching the tip, seeing the hand, you know, whether you can see the hand or it's a blur, whether to move in forward or stay back on the line, the base defense, uh, all of the positioning, there's so much that we've learned. So thank you so much, Coach Johnny. division. Brazilian volleyball IQ at its best. 
the men's, the fives, the division. Airborne 2.0, we're playing at USAV Nationals and Ranger Coach Downey. We're big fans, and uh, I'm looking to try out for the tall ones. <laughs> Me too, I'm a middle yeah. from U of H as well. Yeah. Shout out to Houston. Go Cougs, go Cougs. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Outsides for the win. What's up? <laughs> Honestly, we're going to make our own team called the short ones. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so he can't play then? Yeah, I'm no. Oh, yeah, he can't play. Can't play. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. All right, good luck, guys. Yeah. Hey, 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 Trying to finish off this uh, leftover barbecue before I fly back to California. This is what we call the Last Supper. I just got home from the trip, and as you can see in here, I'm still sick. I always get pretty sad when the tournament is ending and I have to go home because, you know, for three days, I'm just in volleyball heaven, not just playing, but hanging out with other volleyball people watching tons of volleyball, and just being immersed in that atmosphere. One of the other highlights of the tournament was being able to meet so many different fans. I probably talked to at least 100 different people, and I want to thank you guys again for, one, uh, saying hi to me and taking the time to talk, but also watching my videos and supporting the Elevate Yourself channel. So don't forget to say hi again next year. All good things must come to an end, and I must return from volleyball heaven back to earth. But it does feel good to be home. Um, it's about 9 o'clock right now, and I do have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to work. But that's life, and part of the reason why I can go on these trips is because I do work, so um, I got to be grateful for that. Thanks for watching this vlog if you've actually made it this far. If you're interested in playing in a volleyball tournament, regardless of what age, well, I think you have to be eight, at least 18 years old, but at least 18 years old, all the way up to, I think the oldest player was like 89 years old. Men's, women's, regardless of whether you're a beginner or a professional player, you got to come to the USA Volleyball Open National Championships. They only have it once a year on Memorial Day weekend, which is in May. And hopefully I'll see you guys at the tournament next year.